What's going on YouTube? So here I am again with the uh, PlayStation 3's Multiman. I added a couple of uh, newer games like uh, Crisis 3, Dead Space 3, uh, Tomb Raider, Metal Gear, and um, a couple of other ones which I can't remember. But um, anyway, this is a cool little feature which I just discovered with the uh, latest uh, Multiman. I'm selecting Crisis 3. So I select that. Let's see if this game does it. It's basically, um. Oh, this one doesn't do it. Well, with the other ones. Oh, there you go. Check this out. This game requires 4.31 firmware. Do you want to change it to your current 4.30 version? This operation will fix. I've seen that error numerous times. So that's a pretty cool option. It basically resets the uh, required firmware for the uh, game which you chose if it requires a uh, later firmware than uh, what you currently have. So in this case, if I choose no, the game will not uh, be playable. It's going to basically uh, tell me to install 4.31 but in this case, I'm going to select yes, and it's going to reset the uh, eboot file in there, so it'll play under 4.30. So that's a pretty cool feature that um, Dean has added to Multiman. Alright, so once it's done, it'll dump you back to the um, main desktop or whatever it's called, the uh, XMB. Go up to the disk, Crisis 3, press X. See the light on the hard drive blinking. Alright, so there's a newer version of the software. So, that's fine, we're gonna hit O, we don't want to install that. And there you go, game just works, works just fine. Hard drive is blinking.